Andy, over here to your left. Many of your, uh, many of the people close to you, coaches, players, and friends have, have always described you as, a, as this vivacious character, personable, humorous, and yet you've long been known for not revealing very much about yourself to the public. What, what were your motivations behind that when you originally started being a public figure, and why have you continued to, to be that way for the most part? Yeah, so when I'm standing here, you guys have a job to do, and uh, you don't need a comedian up here uh, giving you stuff. And so uh, I try to at least give you something that you can work with as a story and, uh, and do your job. And then some of you guys that know me away from it, I mean, I'll let my personality show from there. But uh, other than that, doing this, uh, uh, I try to keep as professional as possible for you. Right. Andy, yeah. good morning. Um, the other night you mentioned that uh, you, have, you have plays named after Hank Stram. And without asking you to give away the store, I wonder if you could give an example of what one of those might sound like. And also, what are your thoughts about a uh, 65 uh, Toss Power Trap? Yeah, that was a good play for Hank. Um, we're not running it right now, but uh, he, he, uh, that was his go-to. Um, but we have, well, listen, we meet in the Hank Stram auditorium or, or meeting room uh, back at the facility. Um, obviously, his legacy lives there, um, which is great. I mean, we have a tremendous amount of history there uh, with the Chiefs. And so um, we, we do have a play uh, that is a Hank play. and. Uh, and I can't tell you what it is, but we, we do, we use it, um, whether we call it at the line of scrimmage or we call it in the huddle, we, we use that term. Coach Reed, good morning. Good morning. Uh, my question is about no, Eric Bianami situation. How uh, ready is he becoming an NFL coach at this particular time? What are the strengths and what are the areas that, uh, uh, in your view, he need to uh, uh, improve? Thank you. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, you're welcome. Uh, Eric Bianami is a head coach. Um, I'm, I'm Eric Bieniemy's biggest fan. I think he'd be a great head coach, and um, I thought he was going to have an opportunity this year. It didn't work out for him. Uh, but he, when I talk about leaders of men, uh, you're not going to find a finer one than Eric Bieniemy. So he he knows all the buttons to push. He's got a great offensive mind. He's my offensive coordinator, and um, and and he organizes everything. And he's the one that's calling the plays into the quarterback and. Does you know? I mean, he's he got a great. I think he's phenomenal. I really don't think he needs to work on anything to become a head football coach. I think he's ready to go, and uh, he just needs that opportunity to to get in and go. Coach, you guys work so hard as a staff, and sometimes you're, with some short weeks, there's barely enough time to get stuff in. You've got all this extra time now. You got a lot of stuff done last week back in Kansas City. I mean, do you wish this game was today? I and mean, what's this next kind of few days like for you? And can you have too much time to, pre to prepare for a game? Yeah, no, I, I don't think so. I, I, I like the way it's set up right now. Um, I like our schedule, the itinerary that we've put together. Um, I think uh, well, it, it's, it's good for the players to get work done, to stay sharp, fresh, and, uh, and give them an opportunity to play at their best. So. Um, he, there's always room to polish the game plan, and, uh, and so that's what you do down here. Andy, I wonder if you okay. knew Chris Dolman at all over here. Okay, all right. Uh, I wonder if you knew Chris Dolman at all. He passed away overnight. I know you faced him quite a bit when you were in Green Bay. So I, I didn't hear Chris. Chris Dolman, who passed yeah. away last night. I wonder if you knew him at all from coaching I, against You know what? I, I met him. I didn't really... Uh, know him, um, but I know he was he was a phenomenal player, and um, I had teams that had played, you know, obviously against him. And um, so, I, you know, my heart goes out to him. I know the struggles that he's had here the last little bit. Andy, I was uh, curious what you were hoping to get in Tyron Matthew when you when you looked into him this off season, and has he brought that to your team? I'll tell you, he's uh, been everything and a little bit more. Um, we had heard he was a good leader. He's a great leader. Um, 
a, a phenomenal person. He's overcome a whole lot of things and, uh, and really is just solid. And uh, you love being around him. He loves to play the game. Um, I joke people that we, we have this key in this cage and we just unlock the cage and let the badger out, man, on game day. And he, he loves playing, man. I mean, he brings it, uh, brings it every play. He does it in practice. He does it in the game. It, it's fun to be around. Coach. Uh